assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you i hope you are all well by the grace of almighty welcome to niivs home school i am ashish vishash an assistant teacher of mathematics in national ideal english version school mondishep today i am going to take a math class for the student of class 5 so my dear student let us start our class today is our lecture number 12 and today's sw number 9 of annual exam my dear student our today's topic exercise 9 from exercise 9 we shall solve what problem number 5 6 8 and yes as your cw and what problem number 4 and 7 will be your sw must do your assign sw in sw copy submit it regularly in our school campus uh, in every saturday within 9 am uh, to 3 pm so my dear student let us start our class here you notice exercise 9 the name of the chapter is first sentence okay so in order to solve this this math at first we need to know the formula of principal we need need to know the formula of rate of interest formula of time and formula of simple interest so please notice i equal to p n r this is the formula of simple interest here i equal to simple interest okay i equal to simple interest p equal to principal p equal to principal the money that is borrowed or invested is called principal in n equal to time that means uh, the amount of money uh, that is borrowed at certain time and that is called time which is denoted by the small letter n okay then r r equal to rate of interest r equal to rate of interest rate of interest my dear student so this is a short question what is the formula of simple interest then the answer will be this one by using this formula we can find out another three formula so if we want to find out principal then p equal to i divided by n r okay if we want to find out time then we write n equal to i divided by p r if we want to find out rate of interest then we write i equal to p n i divided by p n i hope you have understood my dear student by using this formula we uh, need to solve this question 5 and 6 okay so at first we read the question 5 number after solving after reading that then we use this formula to find out answer so here you notice 5 15000 taka is borrowed from a bank for 5 years with annual interest of 8% how much taka should pay back 5 years later dear student i have already told you what is principal the money that is borrowed or invested is called principal here 15000 taka is borrowed from a bank that means principal is 15000 taka okay and time what is time time is 5 years and rate of interest is 8% how much taka should he pay back 5 years later after 5 years he must pay back this 15000 taka along with simple interest i hope you have understood i repeat after 5 years later he must he must pay back this principal along with his simple interest so at first we need to find out the simple interest by using this value then we add the simple interest with the principal and finally we get a amount and that amount is the payable amount for the bank i hope you have understood now we need to solve this before starting to solve this math at first we need to write here or given that here principal p equal to what 15000 taka okay then time n equal to what time n equal to 5 years okay then rate of interest rate of interest r equal to 8% now we need to find out the simple interest so simple interest i equal to 
P N R. Now we need to put the value of P N R. What is the value of P? Fifteen thousand. What is the value of N? N is five. And what is the value of uh, R? It is eight percent. Dear student, now please notice five fifteen thousand multiply five and eight percent. What do you mean by eight percent? Eight percent means eight by hundred. Okay. 8 by 100. Now, you notice this is 15,000, this is 5, this is 8. These are numerator and denominators are 1, 1 and 100. Now we cut. You notice 15,000 and 100. Both number is cut by the number 100. If we divide 100 by 100, then we get 1. If we divide this 15,000 by 100, then we get 150. Now we do multiplication of 155 and 8 and we get the simple interest right so at first 5 8 are 40 so 150 multiplied with 40 now 0 to 0 is written here we do here easy multiplication method that means at first we write this 2 0 after we multiply this 15 with 4 and we get the simple interest 15 4 are hot 60 so 16, uh, 6,000 taka, 6,000 taka is the simple interest. So, this is the simple interest. Now, he need to pay back this simple interest with this principal. So, right, after 5 years, 5 years, the payable amount with the payable amount will be 15,000 plus 6,000 taka. That means 3, 0 is written here, 5, 6, 11, 1, 1, 2. So, 21,000 taka. And this is the answer. As our solution is done, we must write answer. If you don't write the answer then some marks is deducted from your answer script i hope you have understood this question next we shall solve question number six just like this one okay fifty thousand taka my dear student here a mistake this will be taka fifty thousand taka was borrowed from a bank that means this fifty thousand taka is the principal okay and ninety eight thousand taka was paid back up uh, 8 years later. That means after 8 years uh, he pay back 98,000 taka. Okay. So notice principal is 50,000 taka. But he pay back after 8 years 98,000 taka. So if we subtract this principal from this payable amount then we get the simple interest. I repeat. If we subtract this principal from this payable amount then we get the simple interest okay now we get principal we get simple interest and we get time by using this three information we can easily find out how much annual interest rate was charged on the principal that means we we have already learned what is the formula of annual interest rate or simple interest rate then uh, we uh, applying that that formula to find out uh, annual interest rate okay so first of all we write given that given that principal p equal to 50000 taka time equal to 8 years and simple time in simple interest interest equal to here payable amount is 98,000 taka so if we subtract this principal that means 50,000 taka from this 98,000 taka then we get 
simple interest. So, 98,000 minus 50,000 taka. Now, we do subtraction 3030. This 30 was written here. After that, we subtract 0 from 8, we get 8. After that, we subtract uh, 5 from 9, then we get 4. So, 48,000 taka is the simple interest. That means I. Okay. Now we know P, we know I, we know uh, we know P, we know N, and we know I. So we write the formula of interest rate. We know that interest rate R equal to I I then P N. Okay. So I means forty eight thousand. P means fifty thousand. And N means eight thousand. Now, my dear student, we do cut. Uh, here, these 48,000 and this 50,000 are cut by the number 100. And we get 50 by 48. Okay. This 48 is cut by the number 8. Uh, eights, 8, 6 are 48. Now, we cut this 6 and 50 by the number 2. 3 and this is uh, 25. So, my dear student, 3 by 25. Okay. <clears throat> Rate of interest means we convert this fraction into percentage. I repeat. Rate of interest means we convert this fraction into percentage. So, how can we multiply this number 100 and we get the result in percentage. Now, notice multiply by 100. You also write this 100 in this section. 25 ones are 25 and 25 fourths are 100. So, 3 fourths are 12. I hope you have understood my dear student. I repeat. R. R means rate of interest. That means you need to find out the answer in percentage. For this reason, this multiply, uh, this uh, 100 is multiplied here. Okay. 100 is multiplied here. Okay. So, this 12 is the answer. But when you write here 12, no need to write percent. But when you write answer, then you must give percentage sign. Okay. I hope you have understood my dear student. This is the answer. Okay, next question number 8. This is totally different from this two one. Here you notice a seller buys boxes of vegetables from a farmer and sold them at a, a market at 6300 taka with a profit of 40%. How much was the cost price my dear student? Here you notice sold them at a market 6300 taka that means this is the selling price i repeat this is the selling price okay profit profit means uh, profit of 40 percent profit means uh, he something sell uh, 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 suppose profit means suppose rohim is a person who buy a product by 100 taka okay buy a product by 100 taka Okay, after some days later, he decided that he want to sell that product and he sell that product 120 taka. The cost price is 100 taka, but the selling price is 120 taka. So, selling price is greater than cost price. This time, profit will be happened. That means, this time he gained profit. Okay, so just like this on this profit 40 percent, that means he gained this 40 percent profit by selling this item at 6300 taka but we need to find out the cost price of that boxes of vegetables okay so how can
first of all we write given that given that selling price selling price 63000 sorry 6300 taka profit equal to 40 percent at 40 percent profit cost priced will be sorry let cost price equal to 100 taka cost price equal to 100 taka now at 40 percent profit selling price will be okay 40 percent profit means out of 100 taka profit is 40 taka that means uh, the pro selling price will be 100 plus 40 okay 100 plus 40 taka that means 100 40 taka now my dear student here we use unitary method that means if selling price 140 taka then cost price how much taka 100 taka 100 taka now if selling price 1 taka then cost price how much taka 100 divided by 140 why division cost 1 is smaller than this 140 now therefore if selling price is how much taka 6300 taka then cost price equal to 100 multiply 6000 300 divided by 140 why multiplication cause 6300 is greater than this one okay taka now we do cut notice this number this number and this number cut by the number 10 10 10 are 100 on the other hand 10 14 are uh, 10 14 are 140 now again we cut this 10 and 14 by the number 2 5 2 are 10 and 7 2 are 14 dear student notice 63 that in 63 7 goes in how many times 7 goes in 9 times ok 7 on the 7 and 2 zeros is here that means uh, 6307 both number is cut by the number 7 we divide 7 by 7 we get 1 we divide 6300 by 7 we get 900 now we do multiplication so 5 0 are 0 5 0 are 0 and 5 9 are 45 so 4500 taka is the cost price of this boxes of vegetables so this is the answer 4500 taka now my dear student notice from exercise 9 page number 99 what problem number 4 and 7 will be your sw if you can understand this 5 6 and 8 then can then you can easily solve this question number 4 and 7 if you faces any type of problem to solve this two problem you must make a phone call to me my phone number is given on the board so my dear student i hope this class is fruitful for fruitful for you keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamu alaikum